In this video, I'll demonstrate some of the basic image editing and touch-up features of PhotoPaint. I'll cover how to straighten and crop a photo, how to adjust color and tone, and how to fix red eyes, blemishes, and scratches. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also download a written copy of this tutorial. For my first example, I have a photo taken at a tilt. To fix this, I'll open the Crop tool group and activate the Straighten tool. This tool can also be found in the Adjust menu. The straightening bar appears across the center of the photo, and I'll drag its endpoints to be parallel with what I want to become horizontal. The rotation angle is listed here in the Interactive Property bar, and I have Crop enabled so that the photo will be trimmed to have horizontal and vertical edges. The Auto option means that PhotoPaint will choose which way to straighten, but I could specify horizontal or vertical. I'll click Apply, and the image is straightened out. Another popular tool in this tool group is Crop. I can drag around the area I want to keep, and tweak the area by dragging corners or sides. Or, if I want a standard size, I can clear the current crop area, and choose a standard size in the property bar. I'll move the crop area to the part of the photo I want to keep, and enabling Crop Overlay shows what will be removed. To finish, I'll click Crop or press Enter. PhotoPaint also comes with robust image adjustment features. For a quick fix for this slightly faded photo, I'll choose Adjust, Auto Adjust, which adds more color saturation and deeper shadows. For more adjustment control, I'll undo, then choose Adjust, Image Adjustment Lab. Preview is checked, so I can see changes in real time. Or I can click Reset to get back to the original photo, enlarge the Adjustment Lab window, and display the before and after preview. Now I can play with the various settings, or try Auto Adjust to get a new version based on my current settings. I'll click OK to finish. A common issue in photos of people is red eyes from the flash. To fix this, I'll open the Clone Tool group and activate the Red Eye Removal tool. I'll drag with the Shift key pressed to adjust the brush size, and a simple click over each eye gets the red out. If I want to adjust the correction, I can undo and left click while holding the Alt key. Here I can adjust the transparency, and now each click has a reduced effect. But I can click multiple times to remove more of the red. Sometimes a photo shows minor flaws, like moles or beauty marks. With the Healing Clone tool, I start with a brush with a crosshair symbol, which is used to sample an area's color and texture. I'll drag with the Shift key pressed to adjust the brush size, and right-click when the crosshair is above where I want to take a sample. Now I have a second brush, which I'll place where I want to replace the blemish, and click to add the color and texture I just sampled. I can repeat as needed, right-clicking and left-clicking to cover any other blemishes. A similar tool is the Touch-Up brush which I'll use to cover the white spots in this old photo. Again, I'll press Shift to resize the brush, and simply click to cover the spots. The Healing Clone tool can also be used in this example to remove the long scratches in this photo. I'll right-click to one side of this scratch, then carefully click my way down part of the scratch. Then I'll sample a new area and keep clicking. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on basic photo editing tools in PhotoPaint. If you've been watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also download a written copy of this tutorial.